So we've already seen that if I have one equation in two different dimensions, that there's two different possibilities. There might be infinitely many solutions and there might be zero solutions. But now let me upgrade to two different equations in R2. So I'm going to have, and I will call it the coefficient a11 x1 plus a12 x2 is equal to b1. So some, some coefficient times the first variable, a second coefficient times a second variable is equal to the constant. And then for the second equation, I'll do it in a different color here. It's going to be a first coefficient that I call a21 times x1, a second coefficient that I call a22 times x2 is equal to b2. So let's see what's going to happen if I go and try to graph this. Now, this first equation, we know that it's two possibilities. Either it's a line or it's just not anything at all. There's no solution to it. So let me assume that it's going to be a line. So I'm going to put it in there. So now I want to investigate the second of these two. And again, I'm going to assume that it's the case where this is a line, because it's sort of boring if, this, if the answer is there's no solution to one of the equations Clearly, there's no solution to both of them. It's kind of boring. Well, if I want to think about the different ways that I could draw another line, perhaps the most generic one is I draw it like that. And I'm going to get this sort of intersection point in the middle here between these two. In other words, there is one total solution. And I say that there's one solution because there is only one point on the plane that is going to intersect both of these two different lines. That is, it intersects both the pink and the green line. There's a single point there. So that's one possibility. If I have a system of two different equations, I could have, in R2, just a single solution. I'm trying to think about other ways that I could draw this. Uh, another one is I could imagine that my two equations were exactly parallel. My two lines were exactly parallel. So there's one, and there's a second one. And in this scenario, we're going to have zero solutions. It's just that, that every point is either on one line or the other line, but never on both. And then for my third one, it's kind of interesting. I, I have the crossing. I have the parallel. But, but one scenario that I have is that they were parallel, but lying exactly on top of each other. In fact, they were the identical line. That would be a possibility as well. For example, the two equations just copy and paste it. And so I can't really draw it very well, but I'm going to try to imagine that I'm coming here with my green and I'm just drawing it directly on top of the pink. In other words, I'm going to have infinitely many solutions. And so what I'm left with is that I have three different cases. I have the one solution, I have the zero solution, and I have the infinitely many solutions. So we've seen that we have these three different possibilities. We either have zero solutions, exactly one solution, or infinitely many solutions. Is there anything else? Is it possible to draw two lines in some way so that there's, say, two solutions, two intersection points, or 17 intersection points? I don't think so. I can't think of any way that I can take my lines and move them such that there's not either the, the, the one intersection point, the zero intersection point, or the infinitely many intersection points. So intuitively, to me, it says that those are the three different cases. And indeed, this is something that is possible to prove rigorously, and it's also possible to prove it, and this is the interesting point, not just for lines in R2 with, when I've got two different equations. This is true for every single linear system of equations. For every single linear system of equations, no matter how many dimensions you're living in, how many variables you have, how many equations you have, there can only ever be one solution, zero solutions, or infinitely many solutions.